Borne down by bitter misfortune, you sent me this letter, Manlius, blotted with tears. It comes like flotsam from a spammy sea, from the shipwreck of your affairs, a cry from the undertow, and that you, whom Venus deprives of soft sleep, whom the Greek muse no longer tempts, who turn restlessly in an empty bed, call me my friend, that you look to Catullus for love gifts of Venus and of the holy muses is a gift in itself, but your own tears blind you to mine. I am not neglectful of friendship, but we two squat in the same coracle. We are both swamped by the same stormy waters. I have not the gifts of a happy man. Often enough, when a man's toga first sat on my shoulders, I chased love and the muses in the onset of youth, the tart mixture of Venus seeming sweet, but a brother's death drove a young man's kickshaws into limbo I have lost you, my brother, and your death has ended the spring season of my happiness. Our house is buried with you, and buried the laughter that you taught me. There are no thoughts of love, nor of poems, in my head since you died. Hence, Manlius, the reproach in your Roman letter, leaves me unmoved. Why loiter? In Verona, Catullus, where for men of our circle, called limbs in an empty bed are the rule, not the exception. Forgive me, my friend, but the dalliance of love that you look for has been soured by mourning. As for a poem, our tastes call for my Greek books, and those are at home where we both live, and where our years pile up in Rome. I have a few copies of anything by me. One case only has followed me north. There is nothing curmudgeonly here. On whom do you think I would sooner lavish love gifts of Venus and gifts of the holy muses than you? You have turned to a friend and the friend's hands are empty. How can I give what I have not got?